<laughs> if it makes you feel better, I lost my father too, when I was a kid. I... I never knew. And... I... I... <laughs> it's okay. Let it all out. Time to take a piss. What the hell are you doing? I'm taking a piss. Yo, I had the jewel, I got some goals. I sold a little weed, but I could never sell my soul. And when I'm in LA, you find me out in Lil Toe. Come a vocal with my ramen, I'ma need another blow. Let's go. <laughs> Bitch, I'm back on my son, Amy. Coma. I'm Kanye West. I'm Kanye West. Here we go. I'm Kanye West. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the newest Dumbsville video. And today is a special day. Today is the second episode of the Dumbsville Spotlight on Son Amy fans that are mature but might need improving in some artistic areas show. Still haven't found a good name for it yet, but, but it's a start. It's a start. So today we're talking about someone that you guys requested named Z Sonic X Couples. I don't know if it's Z Sonic X Couples or if it's Z Sonic X Couples Z. Is it really Daisy or is it Days? Not only that, but um, nothing is capitalized, which made titling this video a pain in my ass. So who is this Z Sonic X Couples? Well, I'm glad you asked. Z Sonic X Couples is actually a really interesting channel, but not one I can say is of quality. There's plenty of potential, and in her genre that she's in, she is pretty revolutionary. But overall, her channel, in my honest opinion, it's, um, not very good. Let's start at the beginning. Hey, buddy. So, Z Sonic X Couples is a channel that makes Sonic YouTube fanfiction, which, as you all know, is my favorite genre on YouTube. This marks the third time where I've <clears throat> praised the genre. If you want to write Son Amy's story number 532, either don't use YouTube and go on fanfiction.net or make something actually entertaining because I don't know about you, but this is the most boring thing I've ever seen. It's a Windows Movie Maker slideshow. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I, I was expecting, you know, I, I, was I, did I have too high of expectations? I won't go into too much detail because I've already talked about those type of videos on this channel. All you need to know is that these type of videos are boring, terrible, poorly written. They are literally Windows Movie Maker slideshows. It, it's boring and terrible and it sucks. And before I go into modern Z Sonic X Couple Z, I do want to start off with their old videos. And their origins do involve these kind of videos. So for people wondering what I think of their modern content, you're going to have to wait a little bit because I think the difference between their old content and their modern content really is put into perspective when you go down the timeline. So without further ado, let's start from the beginning. <laughs> Our story begins on May 9th, 2013, with the upload of Sonic High School, Sonimi Story Part 1. Honestly, how many of these fucking Sonic High School videos are there? Anyways, if you couldn't tell already, this channel is off to an extremely rough and generic start. I hate to bring up him again, but these videos are literally Sonic X Season 4 by TrueLove494 all over again. There's bad editing, bad writing, no no voice acting. It's a pretty fucking awful shit show of a video, but it's like every other Sonic fanfiction shit show on YouTube. I sleep on this bullshit. These Sonic X couples uploaded a lot, and I mean a lot, of these type of Sonic fanfiction videos. And honestly, these early videos are not something to write home about. They're pretty fucking awful, to be honest. Just by skimming through these videos, I came across numerous problems, including my favorite Sonic fanfiction cliche, Sally Acorn getting demonized. Oh, my favorite. Why does she have to be at this school? It's going to be harder for me. Also, the intro to Sonic High School 2 sounds like a Lil Peep song. <laughs> This 
this kind of content lasted for about two years until all of a sudden this happened. Now, next question, which is for Sonic. Bring it on. That's right. We got some voice acting. He's in love with who I am. Back in high school, I used to jerk him with my hands. So, at long last, Z Sonic X Couple Z did something revolutionary. Include voice acting in your fucking Sonic fanfiction videos. This is something that more Sonic fanfiction video makers should be doing because they're making videos. And to this day, Z Sonic X Couple Z is the only one doing this. Like, Goth Nebula's garbage content should be unacceptable and Z Sonic X Couple's should be the standard. Why we're still getting this amateur content from these amateur content creators is beyond me. Now, Z Sonic X Couple Z's content isn't perfect. The voice acting, for example, is is it's a lot to be desired. I don't mean to be rude, but were you just talking to yourself? Uh, and who might you be? You still haven't answered my question. She's my hot fry. Besides, I love my Mustang, which is a plug-in hybrid. Anyway, how is your sex life? And on top of that, uh, some of the storytelling gets really so bad it's good at times. It's really a case where these are fanfiction writers who take their story way too seriously and end up making something that is absolutely terrifically hilarious doesn't mean you can involve what we have to put up for for most of our lives if it wasn't for us women you wouldn't be here wait what the fuck is this like a a pro feminist libtard message in a sonic fan fiction what about the story of adam and eve manic that's religion <laughs> what Skirt. what you got my sister pregnant <laughs> Now, all of these clips are from a singular video I showed you called Sonic in College Part 25 13 Plus. And the creator actually responded to a lot of the criticism against a lot of the religious and sexual undertones of this episode. I apologize to those who get offended from this video, as this video shouldn't offend anyone at all since this is just like any media. Lots of TV shows, films do this. Sexism, religious beliefs, etc. They are not included to offend you. It was just a way of making the story more realistic since sometimes people put up with sexism and some argue with religious beliefs. Know that I'm agnostic. I do not mean to upset anyone who takes sexism or religion seriously or any other topic in this video that could have possibly upset you. Just be aware, I did give a warning in the description. Okay, um, here's the problem. You're writing about a blue talking hedgehog here? And the problem for me isn't that I get offended by these topics. It's more like the opposite. I may sound like an absolute sick fuck here, but honestly, when Sonic fanfiction tries to handle a tough topic, like, I don't know, sexism, or religion, or domestic abuse, I can't help but laugh my fucking ass off. Because these are serious situations juxtaposed by these cartoony animals. I'm laughing just thinking about it. I I'm, a I'm a sick fuck. I like a quick fuck. I'm a sick fuck. I like a quick fuck. <laughs> However, one of the most interesting things about Z Sonic X Couples is the way she edits a video. This is something that I think is actually really, really important impressive and really really good but needs some improvement here and there however i do have mostly praise for it because the editing is surprisingly really good i remember when 12th july first came into my recommended section for some odd reason and i remember clicking on it expecting some really terrible awful 40 minute sony me amv that would make freaking wedding slideshows look like dread in comparison and then i clicked on the video and was surprised to see this <laughs> what
Whoa, what's this action in one of these kind of videos? This is a new revelation for me. Also, when a character is introduced in this video, they have this really cool, like, introduction where it's like a cool effect and it says their name. However, the editing, while it's really good, it's not great. But Domsville, your editing is shit. Yeah, ha ha, hilarious. Anyways, one problem I have is the sound design. It is extremely inconsistent. For one thing, the character introductions, while visually amazing, are flat as hell because there's no sound effects to accompany them, which means that the power that they're supposed to have is reduced drastically. So where are you two going on your date? As you can see, the impact that this visually has is reduced because there's no sound effect to give it any extra power. And it's not that hard. I mean, I can do it. So where are you two going on your date? I wonder if I'll ever get to take a break. And a lot of mixing between voice acting and music is horrid. Like, I can't hear what anybody is saying, and my ears are bleeding because the music is way too loud. What do you mean, that's it? Well, to me, it looked like she was buying you a chili dog. Hey, she crafted it as a date, so I don't need to take her out on the real one. Sometimes the sound design is actually really good. <laughs> but it's made really inconsistent because of some really odd sound effect choices. Now, a lot of these problems are mainly in their earlier videos from around two years ago. And hopefully we have a pretty good idea on where they've been up to this point and what their content is like, which means we get to go in depth. I'll be resting on one. I'll be resting on one. That's right, by in-depth, I mean we get to talk about an entire video of theirs. Looks like it's nostalgia critic time. <laughs> Sonic and the Nutcracker came out Christmas Day of 2018. What a perfect Christmas present. And like the title implies, it is based on the two-act ballet by Tchaikovsky, which in turn is adapted from the E.T.A. Hoffman short story, The Nutcracker and the Mouse King. I read that off of Wikipedia! But enough stalling. This is Sonic in the Nutcracker. I remember it so you don't have to. Happy holidays, boys and girls! Oh no, I hate it already. Why does Tails sound like a fucking parrot? Today I'll be reading... And that's kind of a bland opening. Oh, here's the self-aware funny haha -ha part. No, stop. I can't stop laughing. It's too funny. Merry Christmas! Okay, not everyone celebrates Christmas, though. I don't want to leave out Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever other holidays might be. Oh, of course, this satanic YouTuber taking out the Jesus from the holidays. I'm calling Kirk Cameron right now. This is, I need, I need Jesus. Tails! Ah, it's the ghost of Christmas pass! No, it's Sonic. Oh. Wait, where? I'm the only narrator. I'm literally the character on the cover of the book, Tails. So I don't like how the image is only one static image. There's no real life or emotion to this intro scene. It's just Tails smiling, which makes some of the more paranoid scenes so much more awkward. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a young girl named Amy who lived in a small house with her mean brother. What? Ah, hey! Uh, Scourge isn't Amy's brother, though. What a jerk! But Amy never let that bother her. She was kind, unlike her brother, and many people loved her. Wow, I can really uh, relate to this perfect, flawless character. And I know the Nutcracker, the original ballet, doesn't exactly have room for character development, but at least it tried to hide it. This is the equivalent of taking a bright neon sign that says, I'm one dimensional, and pointing it at your main character. <sighs> Even though she lived with her terrible brother, life wasn't all bad for Amy because of her best friend, Rouge. Real quick, how many watermarks are on this video? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Watermarks on my video. Watermarks on my video. Hello? Rouge, you're here! Yes, I am. Well, I got you something. That does not sound like Rouge. Oh, 
Me too! Wait here. Merry Christmas! Amy, can you stop buying me Spy Kids 3 every year? You got me jewelry? How did you know? Wow, that sounded really enthusiastic. Wow, you got me jewelry? How did you know I always wanted that? Because that's all you ever talk about. Jewels. Well, here's yours. Why does Amy sound like Harley Quinn in this take? And why does Rouge sound like SPD64? Or, my name is Rouge. All the world's gems are mine. Uh, Nutcracker? Oh, uh, Nutcracker? Yes, don't you like it? Hmm, he's perfect. Uh, he's perfect. Wait, what about me? Don't I get a gift? Yeah, um, uh, Merry Christmas. A rock. Really? Hey, Dwayne Johnson is a perfect Christmas present. You know, Rouge, she doesn't like to spend very much. Oh, believe me, that nutcracker costs enough. What? That piece of wood? Hey, don't call him that! Oh, my bad. Is he your boyfriend? Mm. Wow, epic foreshadowing. It's so subtle, I wonder if he will become her boyfriend. Anyway, I gotta get going. Next train will arrive shortly. Can't you stay for Christmas? Amy, you don't get it. I have to go to my cruise! I'll be back before you know it. Merry Christmas, you two. Good riddance. <sighs> At least I have you. Now where'd I put the dildo and super glue? As night fell upon the house, Amy slept on the couch along with her nutcracker. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Shadow just got back from Disneyland. <laughs> what brings you all the way out here, Faker? By the way, how is Disneyland? You know I'm here for you. I'm not wearing hockey pants. For me? Ah, oh, shucks. I didn't realize you enjoyed getting your butt kicked so much. <laughs> I'll get rid of you. Once and for all. That's so? I'd like to see you try. Oh, you brought backup? That's good. I was worried this would be too easy. Get him! Well, the sound design's better, but the visuals are a step down. It's just one still image. You really couldn't draw multiple images or something? Aw, oh, I'm sorry. I guess they never miss, huh? I guess they never miss, huh? Am I seeing things or is this just some sort of weird dream? That's it. I'll turn you into real wood this time. Once again, we have the problem where the audio is way louder than the Shadow voice actor's voice. If it weren't for the subtitles, I wouldn't be able to make out what he's saying. Huh. Oh. <laughs> wow, that must be one powerful ass pillow. Oh, that's it. Now you'll pay for that. Size only matters when you're full grown, baby. Time to go, my lady. What's all this about? Long story. Hold on. He's a skate. Idiot. Ow. Now we have to go back. And so the Mouse King retreated back to his castle. Meanwhile, Amy was now entering the magical realm of the Nutcracker. Where are we? We're in the land of winter, my lady. Oh, it's just Russia. Okay. Winter? Oh, I get it. <laughs> I must be dreaming. Ow. Well, usually that works. Dreaming? Don't you remember meeting me? Huh? Why, I was a present to you from the Mistress of Winter. The Mistress of... what? Lady Rouge, of course. Rouge? Oh, right, right, yeah. Mistress of Winter, got it. Yeah, this will be fun to talk to her about when I see her again. This is what you give for buying me Spy Kids 3 again. She must have given me to you because you're going to be the one to defeat the Mouse King. Uh-huh. So you'll do it? Yes, definitely. Great, ah! let's go, m'lady. Now that Amy had accepted the task, the Nutcracker would help her travel through the land of winter so they could reach the Castle of Ice. You know, I would talk about the differences between the original story and this fanfiction, but 
This is a Sonic fan fiction, so who the fuck even cares? So, Nutcracker, sir, do you have a name? My name's Sonic, my lady. You know, I take this less and less seriously as this goes on. Once we get to the Castle of Ice, we'll get you the perfect weapon to use against the Mouse King. A golden scar and a couple of chug jugs. I see. And why can't you defeat him? Because radical feminists won't allow me to. And so, Amy and the Nutcracker approach to call, the advisor to the Mistress of Winter. Ah, says Sonic. You have returned, and... <gasps> oh my goodness! It's her! Wow, the voice actress really doesn't know what accent she wants to use. I don't know if I'm British or if I'm American. I see you're here to save us, right? I'm... well... We'll stop the Mouse King together! Yeah, what he said. Meanwhile, the Mouse King was making evil plans in his castle. Is that a Dark Souls background? Oh wait, oh fuck, no, no, I didn't- No, no, no! Along with his stupid henchman, Charmy. Hey! And the stupid henchman, like all the other characters, can't break the fourth wall. Why I oughta- Charmy! Jesse! Wake up. So, I think we have a good idea on what this video is like so far. One positive thing is that this is a lot more adventure-oriented. And further in the story, we're introduced to more characters and more worlds. And thankfully, the story does not take itself too seriously, which I actually really appreciate. It is beyond refreshing to see a Sonic fan fiction that doesn't take itself extremely seriously and doesn't try to be super edgy or provocative. Welcome to the Sugar Land! Where everything here is made out of candy! Wow... So... We could eat... Anything? Yep! But I already ate most of the village, so... <laughs> he committed genocide. However, also, I feel like this also hurts the story. It's a double-edged sword. While it helps the story stand out, it also gets kind of annoying when characters make fourth wall jokes every five seconds. It also doesn't help when the jokes last for like three years. Oh, why, of course! Said the idiot, having no idea where he was going. Will you quit insulting me, narrator? The gingerbread idiot better stop breaking character. Well, the narrator needs to stop being so rude to me in every single video. Just for that, I'm changing your character's name to Stupid Idiot. That took almost 20 seconds. And the castle should be, uh, uh... You didn't know where it is, did you? Look, I wanted to prove We've that We've been over wrong. this already! Great going, stupid idiot. My name's Silver! No, it's not. The narrator rewrote your character's name. It's Silver! S-T-U-P-I-D! Also, the editing is pretty lackluster compared to that first 12th July scene. The audio has really improved, which is a good thing, but the visuals are a step down. I don't know if that's because there was a lack of artists on the team or what. And it's not this terribly edited video, it's just pretty lackluster compared to what I've seen from this channel before. Once again, audio-wise, it is a big improvement. Not perfect, but better. But visually, the channel has regressed. Also, as you all know, uh, my favorite shipping is uh, very much present in this video. Maybe I should get revenge for that kiss. <laughs> Stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. Overall, while this is one of the greatest Sonic fanfiction videos I've ever seen, which isn't really saying much, I do think that it's a step back from the potential of this channel. It's pretty disappointing, not gonna lie. I'm feeling a light to decent three on this thing. I just broke my pickaxe mining, I won't mind, I'd rather sleep. So in the end, this is a channel that I think has potential to be something better than what it is. I think more people should look at this channel as an inspiration to make their own Sonic fanfiction videos that are way better than what's being put out right now. I still can't say I'm a fan of this genre, but this channel gets it right for the most part. Unfortunately, on its own, this channel is is 
mediocre at best. There's a lot, and I mean a lot of potential, and with the right writers and everything, I think this channel could produce something great. But unfortunately, right now, as it stands, I'm giving this channel as a whole a, a 5 out of 10. It's a channel I think can be great and I want to see improve. But in the end, as it stands right now, it's just kind of eh. But that's what I have to say. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on my social media stuff. Discord and Insta are my two biggest ones. And if you can, don't forget to donate to my Patreon and Ko-fi accounts. You know, a guy's gotta eat somehow. And thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next Dumbsville video. Fortnite, I really love some Fortnite, I really love some Fortnite, I really love some Fortnite